Hey guys, this is Emrick from Emrick's Time Lapse. And what if I show you this beautiful time lapse of San Diego at sunrise? What do you see? Well, you see a beautiful time lapse of San Diego at sunrise. But what if I do this? Yes. So sometimes you're shooting a beautiful time lapse at sunrise or at sunset, and there is not one single cloud. So what do you do? Well, either you can just leave it like this and sell the clip like this, or you can find another time lapse that you have and then mix the sky with your time lapse, with the current time lapse. So this is what I did for my San Diego sunrise. I went and take another time lapse of a sky fire at sunrise of LA. So the sky that you see in this time lapse is actually Los Angeles and not San Diego, because the original time lapse of San Diego looked like this. And I think it was a little boring to have like a white sky like this. So why not just change the sky with another time lapse that I have? A sky fire, like a real sky fire. And I'm gonna show you right now in After Effects and Premiere how to do it very easily. Let's go. All right guys, this is After Effects. I'm gonna show you on After Effects first how to do it. Then I'm gonna show you on Premiere Pro, which is pretty close, uh, pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna go in my portfolio and select the clip I want to uh, add the clouds to, which is this one, this beautiful San Diego at sunrise. So you can see there is not a single cloud. There's a few, like there's some fog here. Um, but yeah, see how wide this guy is? It's like, no, nah, I, I have to do something with this. So I'm gonna click and drag it on After Effects. Okay, there you go. I don't know what project, which project always wants to be on the left. And now you need to find um, time lapse that's gonna match everything you have on your on the time lapse you want to add the clouds to. So the biggest thing you need to think about is the light. Where is the sun? What is your angle with the sun? So here on my San Diego time lapse, you can see that at sunrise, uh, the sun is actually. Uh, I'm, I'm, the sun is actually coming to the, from the left here because I'm shooting something like south uh, east. So the sun is like on the left. So all the lighting is going to come from the left. So what you want is your sky, your clouds has to be the exact same lighting. It's a lot of, you know, points that you need to have to make it work, but it can work. So here it's perfect because I have this time lapse of LA that I shot beautiful sky fire sunrise and this look at this sky guys it's amazing and if I look at the sun direction it's exactly pretty much the same thing it's on the left so the lighting is going to match perfectly so I have this white shot here or I have like a, a closer one so that I can use um, I think I use the white one for this time lapse because the San Diego sunrise was also a white one so I'm gonna click and drag it here. Now what we're gonna do is like select the San Diego one and create a new composition, okay? And I'm gonna take the LA one and move it on top of the other one. So what you need to do first is create a mask. You wanna create a mask. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna select the sky, only the sky. And, uh, you can do like a rough selection. We can move all the uh, we can move the, all the, you know, the mask points after if needed. Okay, so you guys can see that it's starting to have something uh, pretty nice happening here. Obviously, you can see like, you know, the edge between the sky and the uh, San Diego one is like, you know, completely sharp. We need to make it a little bit look better. So what we're gonna do first is the feather. We're gonna work, we're gonna like change the feather. So you try to play with the feather of your time lapse a little bit. You'll see it's gonna like, maybe like a big, big feather. Okay, uh, let's try this. So we're gonna have to move my time lapse uh, up a little bit, the sky up, because you can see it's covering the buildings right now. So I'm gonna go in transform, up, transform. And then we're going to move the position up a little bit. Okay. So you can see here, the problem is like my sky nine is coming back. So we're going to have to move those points. The LA sky nine is coming back and we don't want this. So we're going to have to move those points up a little bit to kind of mask, uh, to not ha see the LA skyline. So if we have to go very high, we're going to have to go very high. We don't want to see the skyline. 
we just want the sky okay so it's perfect because it's perfectly the shape of the um, of the mountains right here so we can try to move the other one to make them better okay and maybe now um, what I can do and maybe zoom in a little bit on the sky so we can have some uh, you know we can move it right left a little bit up and down without you know having the, the black background coming back so I'm going to scale it to maybe 105 percent um, and we can change the position a little bit more okay uh, here we can see we see the city as well so I have to go up or we can change the feather size both works so I'm going to move it down a little bit uh, where is where are the mountains? So the mountains are right here, okay? So I'm gonna go here like this, okay? And I'm gonna move all of those points up a little bit more. So you see, you have to play with your time lapse. You have to play with the mask a little bit to, uh, you know, to find the perfect feather, the perfect composition with your, with your clip. Okay, it's getting pretty, it's getting pretty good. Uh, I try to play with all the blending mods. It doesn't really work as good as pictures. So I think if you keep your sky as is and doesn't work with all the blending modes, um, I think it's gonna work better. It's gonna look more natural to me. Okay, so this is pretty good. One other thing is you can see my San Diego time-lapse is actually, you know, longer than the sky. So what you wanna do is uh, I'm gonna speed this one up to 25 seconds so they're both gonna match. Uh, so this is time remapping, no, time stretch. We're going to go to 25 seconds. And also, you have to make sure the sun, when the sun appears in the sky, uh, it has to be right at the same time that the sun appears in the time lapse you're adding the, the clouds to. So, for example, here it works also perfectly. You can see the sky starts to appear here. It's my, uh, this is the, the sun from the sky, um, from, the, from the clouds. And you can see the lights starting to get there as well on the San Diego time-lapse. So this is a perfect match. It means I pretty much started to shoot the Skyfire LA Sunrise and the San Diego Sunrise at the same time. And so it, it works perfectly well on this one. But you can adjust, you know, one of those two to make the lights, uh, the light match on both, you know. So here you can see the, the sun. It's perfect. The sun appears right behind the mountains here right there okay I'm gonna to try to see if I can maybe uh, change the feather a little bit of my mask here it's a lot I'm gonna see if I can like reduce the feather a little bit okay let's see at night how it looks I think it looks pretty good I think it looks pretty good we can't really tell the difference between the sky and my San Diego sunrise it's like it looks like it's one time lapse now, but it's not. You can see it's two time lapse. And I think it works too because see, you already have a little bit of red here, uh, which is like natural red from, you know, the, the color, sunrise colors. So it kind of blend pretty well with my clouds over there. And now I just, you know, I just have my, the sky and the clouds added and it looks so good. It looks perfect. It looks exactly like, it would have been exactly like this. If those clouds were here on my time-lapse, it would have been exactly the same time-lapse. All right, guys, so now that we have the time-lapse in the sky, now that we have all clouds in the sky, we need to do the reflection in the water, which is very important because it's gonna add some realism. Is that how I would say? Like, it's gonna make it look even more realistic. So I'm gonna do uh, right-click and I'm gonna, well, actually, it's just Command D like, to duplicate my time-lapse. I'm going to move it down, we're going to go transform, we're going to move the position down like a lot, like right here, and then we're going to do like rotation 180 degrees up, so it's like a full 180 degrees rotation, alright, I'm going to move it back up, okay, so the water is right there, so what I want to do is like put right in the middle, somewhere right here, and we're going to move the mask to make it closer to like see how the water is okay so now that what I want to do is add some Gaussian blur because you know it's the water it's moving you might have some some blur on on the water so we're gonna add a little bit maybe like five or something okay 
And I think what works great is also to lower the opacity of, of, your, of your mask on this one. Doesn't have to be a lot, but it can make a huge difference just with like 50%, for example, 40, 50%, see? It's like on the left, you have this red color. Um, what I'm gonna do also is maybe reduce the feather a little bit, because I think it's too much for that. Maybe back to like 80 or something. You know, you understand how it works. It's to create something very real, very realistic and uh, like water reflection. So it's blurry. It's just to have the colors a little bit in the sky, the colors of the sky in the water, because this is how it will be in real life. So see, you can see some red here and some blue because we have a really blue sky. So really make it even perfect. And if you go like during the, the, the day here, you can see, you can even see the clouds reflection now in the water. It's blurry, it's just a really, like, I think I'm just gonna down, lower down the opacity a little bit. There you go, 30% is pretty cool. But it still adds some, yeah, it looks, it looks way better like this. Uh, when I first did it, I was like, okay, there's something weird about it. And then yes, the reflection, I said, yeah, this is the reflection, there's something that doesn't work with it. So lower the opacity, uh, change your mask, and then you get something like this. And before and after, you can see that's awesome. All right, guys, well, we are on Premiere right now. So I have my two clips in the project uh, window here. We're gonna do right click and then new sequence from clip. So my clip goes on the timeline right away. What we're gonna do first, what I wanna do first is sequence, sequence settings. And I want to change this to 3840 by 2160, which is like, you know, a normal 4K. So I'm going to OK. And then I'm going to right click and scale to frame size. It's just a smaller 4K, so my computer uh, is going to be able to process the two time lapse a little faster than, you know, 4K plus UHD. All right, so I have my first time lapse. Now I'm going to select my second time lapse. I'm going to select my second time lapse right here, OK, on top. And there you go. I'm gonna do right click, scale to frame size as well, okay? Then I'm gonna do right click, uh, it's speed duration or command R, and then we're gonna change the speed right away. So this one is gonna be at 25 seconds. Perfect. Now we're gonna go in effect control. We're gonna select the time-lapse, the LA time-lapse, the one with the clouds. We're gonna select opacity, and then here you have a free draw this year. I mean, you can draw like a mask, like on After Effects. So we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so now you can see we have the exact same mask that After Effects. So we can do the same thing, create a feather. Okay. Uh, it was about 200 pixel, I think. Okay. We're gonna move, we're gonna uh, scale it a little bit exactly like After Effects, 105. Okay, and we're gonna be able to change the position. Let's check. We have a little bit of the city left, so we can select the mask point and then move it up a little bit. You can also, like After Effects, add some points if needed. So the only thing you guys have to do is really play with your mask, uh, the feather, make it look like seamless transition, like the transition isn't even here, like at the same time lapse. And, and that's it, if I just turn it off, you can see now, it's exactly like After Effects, and my time-lapse is the same. And as soon as the sun goes, the sun shows up, the light shows up as well on my other time-lapse. Be careful when you're doing this, because it's not a picture, it's not a single picture. It's harder to get two time-lapse to match with the lighting, the angle, the speed, everything. So make sure the time-lapse is gonna work. Uh, t the two time lapse gonna work, you know, blended together like this one, like it's perfect. Just make sure the lighting is very important. Obviously, I don't, I don't want the light to come from the right on the clouds because it would have been weird. It doesn't work. So if you uh, make sure you have all those conditions uh, in 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 your time lapse, in both time lapses, it's gonna work perfectly, and it's a great way to make your time lapse even better. So this is it guys, this is how we do it with Premiere Pro. Um, I'm not gonna do the mask with the water reflection because you understand how it works. Just duplicate the sky, uh, change 180 degrees rotation and then move the mask around a little bit, change the opacity and it's exactly like After Effects. It's very easy to do, you know how it works now. 
now it's your time to be creative. Okay guys, this is it for today's video. Obviously, if you have any questions about this tutorial, just leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to reach 10,000 by the end of the year. I'm like 6,700 something right now. So it's getting there. But uh, don't forget to subscribe. And in the meantime, well, I'll see you in the next video. Au revoir.